All right, guys, welcome to the Java Intermediate Tutorials. Um, in these tutorials, uh, it's going to be quite a bit different from the beginner ones I've already done. Um, and if you haven't seen those beginner ones and you don't know too much about the Java language or you'd like to improve your knowledge or et cetera, et cetera, feel free to check those out. But if you think you've got a pretty good standing, um, then feel free to hang out here. So in the beginner tutorials, um, I focused a lot on programming in general, not really styles of programming um, and what's suggested. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, I had mentioned before that Java is an object-oriented language. Um, I hadn't really implemented many object-oriented uh, programming techniques in the beginner tutorials. And that's what I'm going to be doing here, um, along with a few other things which are pretty interesting. Um, so this is going to be great because uh, object-oriented design, um, not only in Java, uh, in other language, la languages such as uh, C Sharp, um, is very important. Uh, if you are in a workplace and they're do, uh, using object-oriented programming, they will not be happy to see that you are using Java uh, procedurally, which is a different type of programming style. So I'm going to teach you object-oriented design in Java, um, and I think this will help out a ton, and I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, I know I'm really pumped. So the first thing you need set up is an Eclipse environment. Um, I explained that in the first or second tutorial um, on the beginner version, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what I have now is just a main class file set up um, inside just a new project, which I named tutorials, and you can set up any project you'd like. Um, just make sure you have a main class and you're basically good to go. Um, in this specific first tutorial, I'm not going to be go going over very much, uh, just basically setting you guys up to get ready for object-oriented design. Now, I'm going to be splitting these up into many different sections, but I am starting with object-oriented design. Um, we're going to go over many techniques, such as recursion, um, and encapsulation uh, and a few other things which may sound kind of funky right now but they're actually a lot easier than you may think um, also we're going to go over topics such as overloading um, and custom objects which is what we'll be doing first so I think you're really gonna like this I know those words may sound kind of wonky um, especially if you've never heard them before um, but they're a lot easier than you may think so now all I'm going to do is just set up a quick main method, which basically says this is where I would like to start my program. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, really, really check out the beginner ones first because it'll make it a lot easier. At least watch like 10 of them or something to get used to it. Um, so I'm going to set up my method by typing public static void main in parentheses string args. Oops, excuse me. String has these string args and there we go so that's all we need right now um, and I know this video is only around like three minutes or 45 seconds or something but that's all I got for today um, so really get excited for this remember object-oriented and then we move on to other stuff so I will see you in the next tutorial